hello and welcome back to my channel for today's video i am going to do an organization video i really wanted to share with you guys that i struggle so much to keep my house organized that i'm taking a little break of making diy projects for you guys because it has gotten to the point that i cannot even do any projects because my house is so disorganized since I started this journey making my DIY projects. So for today's video, I am going to share with you guys an under the sink simple organization video. As you can see here, my under the sink is so, so disorganized and my goal is to work on my kitchen first and to organize my house and create a space where I can come home from my full-time job that I also work full-time as a single mom to come and give you guys a better video for my future DIY projects. I'm just gonna sit here and declutter and clear the space first and put everything in a box that I had here at home and later on i'm gonna go through the box and just keep the items that i use the most what i've been doing is observations uh through the last couple weeks of the things that i reach out the most when i do clean my kitchen and i'm not gonna lie i struggle a lot with being motivated to clean so what i usually do i just put a video on youtube or just put some music and i listen to it while i clean the house there's just not enough time for me during the day uh like i said i'm a single mom i work night shift so it's hard to keep up with my sleep schedule and also i have you know my daughter activities i gotta take her to after school um, tutoring and all that and that takes a lot of my time and also taking time to just share with you guys the real life of a mom like me um, I would love to see if there's anybody watching the video at the moment that struggled with the same you're not alone so I've been watching a lot of organization videos on YouTube and that has really helped me come up with some ideas I'm keeping my organization very very simple um, of course you can also buy other organization items that are more expensive but I am using a lot of the Dollar Tree um, items that I had here at home already. I'm just trying to use what I have and some of the items that I'm going to share with you. I already purchased them in different stores. They were so much more affordable. And to clean, I just spray some uh, pink stuff spray and I'm just using this IKEA scrub sponge that i had here at home already just to take out all the dirt and the grime that i already had here believe it or not i've been living in this apartment for two years and i never never um clean clean this part of the kitchen so i'm just taking my time and cleaning every single corner and make sure everything is super well and clean so i can start organizing this area my goal here is just to make the space functional i am always on the go i am a very visual person i need to see everything where i can just grab use it and put it right back where i got it i'm actually not bad off putting things back in place once they're organized my problem is is that i never organize so that's the biggest problems that i'm struggling with and i'm not gonna lie sometimes i just want to sleep and catch up because i have other responsibilities that i need to do throughout the day so it's having energy and the will to do it it's definitely something that goes through my mind and it's a mental struggle so what i do is i just go on my phone and i set up a 30 minute timer and try to do as much as i can in those 30 minutes and usually when i'm done with the 30 minutes i just want to keep going so if you struggle like me go ahead and set up a timer between 15 to 30 minutes and you see that the, that does make a big big difference in organizing and cleaning your house these items that i have here they already were here at my house i already had purchased them a while back so as i organize i noticed that i have so many things still that i can use to clean my house so i am just going to keep those and use them until they're done and then i'll go ahead and purchase 
better quality items that I can clean my house. As you can see, I have some microfiber cloths. They are from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, honestly, is a lifesaver if you wanna stay on budget. And you can see here the containers that I have. Like I said, I purchased them in different compartment stores, but I did found some containers similar on Amazon. And of course, I'm gonna try to link everything down below. This is the pink stuff, if you guys haven't heard of it. It's an amazing product to clean. I actually purchased mine on Amazon and I will also leave that on the description box below. And the honest truth is that you don't really need a lot of cleaning supplies. The ones that I have here, they're actually half empty. I, I use them a lot. So I'm keeping those until they're done. And my goal is in the future is just to keep a Mota cleaner, a glass cleaner. And I also mix my Dawn soap with white vinegar and that cleans so many things all the time. So I'm just gonna try to keep it so minimal and functional like I said I'm a big believer in reusing things that you buy at the grocery store as you can see here this container was purchased with gummy bears that I gave out in my daughter's birthday party and I thought it would be perfect to uh, to add my dish washing pods this dish and washing pods I purchased them at Costco I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's not the best quality but I'm using them until it's done and then I'll buy better ones this pink container box that I have here is from the Dollar Tree and this is gonna be my overflow container where I have some extra stuff that I can still use so I just don't throw everything away I'm trying to stay on budget uh, as you can see some organizing videos if you purchase all those con containers and organizing kits they can be very pricey so I'm sticking to what I think is gonna be best for my family and budget wise now it's time for me to reorganize under the sink here you can see I have some containers with oils and herbs. Those are for future DIY projects that I have planned for you guys. If you haven't watched my videos of how I make handmade soaps and other uh, DIY projects, I'll leave some of those videos down here in the description box below. And now I'm just playing around and see what fits and what works for me to just grab and use them. and as I go and clean the house and cook. Organizing, it takes some time until you figure it out what works for you. And definitely, I'm probably gonna change it later, but for now, this is what I'm working with. Now I'm just gonna put some music and share with you guys how I'm organizing under the sink. I never got it, why'd you have to go? I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame, and I, I just wasn't enough for you. I grabbed some command hooks from the Dollar Tree and I'm planning on using on my trash bag that I have here. It's not the most fanciest trash bag, but that's what I have right now. And honestly, it's useful and I actually like it. I know there's some other ones out there that are much more modern and much more functional, but for the moment, it works for me. I changed spots but then I put it here under the sink on the other side and honestly it didn't work out for me so I went ahead and just put it back where I had it before and honestly it works so much better for me. I really hope this video so far has inspired you to clean and organize your home and honestly this also inspires me to keep going and show you guys more videos like this please let me know if you'd like to see more content like this i do have more organizing videos upcoming for you guys on my kitchen i am just separating them into different parts and this is what i have accomplished so far i am very very happy with the result i can definitely see everything that i need 
once I'm cleaning my kitchen and cooking and having things available for me to clean and organize. Now I wanted to share with you guys this dish rack, which I use not only for dishes, but also to wash my vegetables. I'm gonna attach this picture here so you guys can see how I use it. I purchased this on Amazon and I love it so far. I gave one to my mom and my sister and it's so useful. You definitely need one. And I have this little container here and I'm just gonna add my sponges that I like to clean my sink and my stove. I like to keep them separate from the dishes because the dishes, the sponges from the dishes get so dirty and I don't wanna mix them. But also I have this hanging over the door um, item that I purchased on Amazon. It holds your dish towel and also it holds your paper towel roll if you don't want to expose on your uh, counters i have under there under the sink I, for me it's just so useful it's always there i just grab it and go and here's my before and how disorganized it was and now here's my after i am so so happy i really love it so far and i just want to say thank you for watching and i cannot wait to see you guys again never got it what you had to go i guess this world's too slow for you i think there's beauty in the gray the cold but you just want the gold and there's no way